Next, we travel to South Rutherford County where Teresa Bush takes us inside an old country store that's earned a second chance in life. Miller's Grocery Store is, well, no longer a store. It's now a dinner time, music time gathering spot that attracts all kinds of happy crowds. Well, let's go there right now and discover one. You can't find just one word to describe what goes on inside this white clapboard building on Main Street in Christiana. Because of this sign, you'd think this was a grocery store, but it hasn't been one in years. These days, Miller's Grocery, or just Miller's, is several things in one. It's a restaurant, a music venue, and it's even a museum of sorts. It was a grocery store for about 75 years. Uh, Mr. Stanley Miller ran it. Uh, he lived next door, and so he was over here every morning. He had an old potbelly stove here in the store. He would get up every morning and come over and make biscuits and coffee, and so then a lot of you know men folk would come in and sit down with him, have coffee and biscuits, and just, of course, talk about what all was going on. Laura Phillips, one of the three owners, says there was a lot going on back then, thanks to the trains that stopped here every day. Mr. Miller had a booming business for a very long time, but then in the mid-1990s, his store was put up for auction. Laura's active partner, Deborah Barner, decided to go to the auction to buy a set of scales she'd seen in the store when she was just a child, and she ended up buying the building. She understood that if it didn't sell at auction that they were going to tear it down and she just didn't want that to happen so she ended up putting a bid and got the building and um, just realized what she wanted to do with it. She had a vision for it which I'm so glad that she did because now when we think about that this place could have been torn down I just can't imagine it you know so I was glad that she wanted to keep it. Well, that's how Miller's Grocery became what it is today. Now, let's talk about the food. We try to keep the recipes southern. We do the fried catfish, meatloaf, chicken and dressing, things that you do find in the south that are people's favorites. Comfort food, you know, some people might call it. We have two main cooks, Walter and Dustin, and they're incredible. They, you know, both bring their own special touch to the food. And they come up with their own recipes. We do the baking, and we make all the desserts from scratch. And Sundays we have a buffet, so that's um, a good time to try new things and see if we, you know, want to stick with it or not. Why do you think Southern people still just flock to that Southern food? I think it just reminds them of their childhood or family maybe family get-togethers, you know, brings back memories like that. And um, a lot of people, I think, associate, you know, good memories and good times with food. The dining area at Miller's is just one big room, and the decor, well, I don't really think there's a specific name for it. It's simply a combination of what Laura and Deborah think fits a building with this character and a building with such rich history including something I'd never seen before, this old gravity flow gas pump. And certainly doesn't look anything like what we see today. We started out with the signs that were original to the store. A lot of the um, soft drink signs like the RC and the Coca-Cola. So that kind of started it. And then we have a good friend of ours that owns her own business and she goes around to a lot of antique stores all over the state. And so she would find stuff and bring to us. Then people would bring us things and say, you know, I found this in my grandmother's attic or we were cleaning out the garage and we thought this would be neat, you know, for Miller's. In addition to all the great things you'll see on the walls and the great food you'll eat, bluegrass and folk music have been added to their menu. We like to go to places that have live music, and then we thought that type of music fits so well with our food and our decor and just being out here in the country. 
Um, and so we, we always wanted to have just a little house band. Nothing that you can't still sit and talk and visit, but just something to enjoy while you're here eating. Nothing that they never want to do a cover charge or just say, you know, it's just the band, but um, it, it just worked out great. We just never really thought that it would go over as well as it has being out here where we are. Um, There's so many other choices that are, of course, closer to town, but um, no two days are the same. Every day is different. You know, we're always, like I said, looking for new ideas and to experiment. And But as far as expanding or going anywhere else, we, we don't want to do that. We like it right here. Thank you very much.